Hallelujah. When incident happen to a man, or a man is passing through pain or trials, people always see negative things about the man. People don't see the good part of a man. When a man is passing through pain, people always see the error of the man. They don't see the good part of a man. What am I trying to say? Apostle Jesus Suleiman is a good man. He has a good heart. He has a large heart for the children and for the generation. He's a father that has affected a lot of life. They have affected a lot of sons and daughters in the ministry. This kind of man, you, cannot, you don't need to bring it down. You can't bring it down. Because even the God of the man will fight you. Recently, you see what Papa have done. He created an, an avenue that the poor now that they can eat. Every Saturday now, you see what is going on in the in celebration TV all the time all the time. Papa feed almost thousands of people every week, which is a millions of millions of nairas, billions of nairas that is spending every every month and there. And we have a politician, we have governor, they have never done one of these things for any one of you. You are still going out there saying negative things about Apostle Joseph Suleiman. Can you able to buy a car or buy a bag of rice? You can't. Monthly Papa pay widows. He put down salaries. Monthly Papa do do a lot of things to make sure that everybody is happy. Put his smile on the people's face. Widows are smiling. There are a lot of people now um, on scholarship. Papa put a lot of people on scholarship. Even their children, the widows in the church is taking care of them. Outsiders, the prisoners, they are benefiting from him. You see a lot of things Papa is doing on, uh, around the world. You can't do it. If you kill him, you, what do you gain? You have put a lot of people in pain. And you can't kill Apostle Justice Suleiman. He has affected a lot of life. He has saved a lot of souls. My heart is bleeding because this generation is too wicked. This generation is too wicked. You can't bring Apostle Suleiman down. You pastor, call pastors, uh, politicians, who, who so call who, who you are. Why are you doing such rubbish things, nasty things to a man that God called? You can't do it. You can't stop him. You know why I'm saying this to you? You politicians, you pastors, change from your wicked heart. Turn away from your wicked heart. Turn away from your wicked heart because those so that you will not see the wrath of God in your life and destiny. You are fighting him today. Tomorrow you go back to him again for prayers. You know, don't you think that that prayer will, 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 will affect you? Don't you think that that prayer will go to destroy you? Because the same man that is praying for you are still going on, 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 on his behalf to be doing, doing rubbish against him. Say not getting things about him. Later you pretend like Judah is carrot to go and be betray him. Pastors, politicians, you secret pastors, politicians, turn away from all this wicked heart. Turn away. My heart is really bleeding for you. You can't bring up Apostle Amanda. Recently you see how he built a, a prison. You he ever give a man of God a car, what millions of naira, bless him, bless the, bless the wife. You see mama doing the same thing. We as the student, all coming to them now, we are still copy from him. What do you think you are? You can't stop him. Just to buy a bag of rice now is very expensive, 40000 or 50000 or so. Now, a man is taking care of almost 4,000 people every Saturday. Most millions of people are going there to be eating. And is killing cow almost six every Saturday to make sure that people are eating, living large. Living good, putting people on scholarship, paying their ass rent, and also paying school fees for other people, and giving transformation to community. You can't keep this kind of man. Huh? Apostle Joseph Suleiman is a good man. He has a large heart. And if this kind of man has um, an opportunity, he will become a president. We need him a president to rule us as a, as a, as a, as a leader. Because Apostle Suleiman has the heart of a leader. He stands for the truth. He speaks the truth. You can't bring Apostle Suleiman down. We need this kind of person in government that can, able, that can take away corruption from the world because the, the governmental system is so corrupt. Even the leaders too, they are corrupt. They don't know what to do. They are confused. They cannot speak. Everybody is silent. You can't speak because you are taking bribe and all that. So stop bringing negative things about Apostle Suleiman. And you are there going to social media, going to social media, saying rubbish things, saying that kind of fleshy things about Apostle Suleiman. 
I pity you because you, you don't know who you are fighting. If you know you are fighting, you will not go out there to be saying negative things about Apostle Suleiman. You, want, you, you, are, you, you that is just trying to uh, come up from a, a dustbin, you are going to go and fight someone that God has raised. Please go and look for that job to be doing because when God come after you, you will not even survive it. You are just doing this one to get money and to get followers. How much they are paying you? Why are you so allowing the devil to use you to go to social media to be saying negative things, nasty things about Suleiman? If they are paying you money, can't you have sense that this same man you are fighting, the more you fight, the more he's rising? Please change for your wicked heart. Change. And allow God to do his work. Everybody now, pastor, want to do the work of God by themselves. If a man made a mistake, allow God that call him to judge him, not you judging him. It's you that is also fighting somebody. Now, you also have an error. You have a lot of things you have done that God is also having mercy on you to cover up for you. So stop bringing negative things about Apostle Suleiman. Stop it. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Evangelist Paul Anointed. God bless you. Thank you.